Let me call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there is Diamond oh. Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at Puss in Boots, and all of us are very excited for this one. This is a first time watch for me. Shrek was awesome. Antonio Banderas was a legend and still is a legend. I cannot wait to check this out. Puss in Boots. Oh, I have not seen it. Like I said, I only saw the first Shrek. Enjoyed watching the next three with these guys, so I'm definitely ready, willing, and able, as you can see, ready, willing, and able to see this series as well. Oh, so, you know, I was a little nervous going into the sequels, and look, all of them were phenomenal. So, if I'm being honest, little anxiety going into the spinoffs, hoping that they can deliver. I'm sure they're going to be fun. Antonio Banderas, as these guys said, is a legend. I'm really excited for this. First time watch for me. First time watch, I don't, I'm not worried at all, unlike the Oakster here, because, I mean, two movies, you all have been requesting for it, so I can't imagine this is going to be bad. I'm sure it's not Saltburn, so we are good to go. <laughs> you gotta, <laughs> you gotta burn Get it, Saltburn. <laughs> well, let's go! go! shirts you got there oak uh yeah you may notice that the answer and myself have some new duds on we are trying out some new bad medicine merch let us know in the comments below if you're digging it we got a couple other designs that we're working on and uh i think we might be ready willing and able to get them out to you if there's enough interest so yeah let we've us had know a lot of people comment for them so of course we're trying to play with some design so if you guys the are years have been listening. known by many names <laughs> <laughs> yes. Diablo Gato <laughs> the furry lover at the most I am Boots in Boots yes oh. yeah. outlaw Daryl Dixon out there chasing a chupacabra yep. oh, look. Uh, another big jump up in the animation you can tell already yeah well, oh, it's 2011, 2011. Okay. <clears throat> it looks like milk Oh, uh, making his escape. What is he sneaking away? <laughs> sneaking away in the middle of the night. I will never forget you, Margarita. <laughs> Uh-oh. Rosa. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I think maybe I should go. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that shiny ring. Yep. <laughs> he puts it on his arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got himself oh. chained to his cage. Oh, he wow. does. Yep. Cartwheel, cartwheel flip. <laughs> <laughs> when he makes the real cat noise, yeah. it just gets me every time. I was a bad kitty. <laughs> bad kitty. Searching for a way to clear my name. Ah, nice. Puss and Boots. Festival of Fire. The shadows. Look, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't come in with a guitar case. He's real trouble. Look what the cat dragged in. Oh, wait. That is the cat. One leche, please. One leche. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I am not looking for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you find tonight is trouble. Well, perhaps if one of us were to tell the law that you are in town, we could split the reward. Mustachio. <laughs> nice. What about Jack and Jill? Shh, are you crazy? The murderous outlaws Jack and Jill have gotten their hands on magic beans. <laughs> do not joke with me about magic beans. They do not exist. These are the beans of legend. <laughs> He's got a tattoo. Only a god with a death wish would steal the beans from Jack and Jill. Where do I find this Jack and Jill? Oh, of course. The hogs red have red eyed eyes. Red-eyed warthogs. 
armored carriage. Wow, look at the uh, wheels on there. Oh, oh there they are. Oh, geez, he locks his hand in there. Yeah. Like when you have it in your handcuffed to a briefcase. And eats the key? Hope well, he I hope mean, he it's just wood, so you could end up smashing it, couldn't you? Uh, hope he doesn't need it anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, once we're done with this magic bean business, we'll let we cut down on some of the hijacking and murdering. I want a baby. <laughs> That's well, what is, what is this? Wait, what? Is that like a Batman? Batman? She'll have your strong. Is that, or is that like a no, bat no. cat or like a Zoro C cat? Catwoman, maybe? It's either a Zoro, but it reminds me of like a cat woman. Those beings are mine. <laughs> 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 you fall off the flat earth. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> you would snap me. You would snap me. <laughs> oh, the cat's getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for something? No. <laughs> Whoa! Uh. Oh! <laughs> wasn't uh, I didn't have chase scene on my puss and boots no. bingo board. Come on, that had to be a Batman shot off. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but think of Daryl Dixon anytime I hear that. Yep. Two by six, by the way, on Walking Dead. <laughs> the old. <laughs> Was that a Tom and Jerry shout out? Yeah, I think so. You just caused me a chance at getting the golden eggs, me amigo. Put up your turks. <laughs> Cow because of the milk. <laughs> huh. Are they stomp in the yard? They have a dance off. <laughs> dance fight Tuesday night. <laughs> then I will Tuesday night dance fight you to the death. He's <laughs> 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 doing the whole down. blood sport. <laughs> 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 Can you feel me? Split screen. Oh, look at all that milk. Oh, he's seeing red. <laughs> <laughs> Fear me if you dare. <laughs> Getting a uh, Dread Pirate <laughs> Roberts from uh, Princess Bride vibes here versus yeah. Enigo Montoya. <laughs> oh, oh, she's guitar. Jeff Jarrett over here. Yeah. <gasps> you hit me in the head with a guitar? <laughs> <laughs> you are a woman? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the cat's eyes. Amateur. Wow. Did that they get Selma, Selma Hayek and, and gonna Antonio gonna together? They did not. Oh, Hello. Come on. It's... You are hiding from me? I smell something familiar. Something breakfast tea. It's been a long time, brother. Ah! Humpty Dumpty is ah! his brother? Shut Humpty Alexander <laughs> Dumpty. How dare you show your face to me? 
I know you're angry. They are the same boots I wore when you betrayed me. You left me cracked in pieces on a bridge. We were brothers, and brothers are supposed to look after each other. Humpty, remember yes. why we're here. I have the magic beans in my grasp, Is it? and you sent this very- That didn't sound like her right there. With Kitty's skill, your sword, and my brain, we've got a fighting chance here. No. <laughs> Never again. Plus, you got oh, any idea what they do to X in San Ricardo prison? <laughs> 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 Just a look back. It ain't over easy. Oh. <laughs> 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 Again. Again. Adios. Humpty Dumpty. Oh, <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. <laughs> Look what I found. Someone forgot his money. The two of us together. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me. I owe you? Mm -hmm. The guitar to the face. <laughs> <laughs> there is one tiny, itty bitty problem. You were. For the egg! What happened between you and Humpty that was so bad? The scars are too deep. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his <laughs> foot up. <laughs> it all started a long time ago. It was a year in which the rain had not fallen. A hungry little kitten with no milk, no mama. Until I came to rest at a home for <laughs> lost <laughs> children. Did it just say that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Her name was Imel. She was an angel of kindness. It's okay, Pequeño. You show with the face. <laughs> oh my god. What? Adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Humpty Alexander Dumpty. Hey, Whiskers. You're sitting in Little Boy Blue's chair. I've got a yoke. Even though he took my <laughs> oh, beans, the egg is stood up for me. Kahoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, oh, it came back. <laughs> nice. That was very impressive. Thanks. Hey, egg boy. Oh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even have time to turn around. I've been collecting for months now. You never know when you're going to get lucky. You're going to tell all the other kids that I believe in magic now? Is that what you're going to do? What's your name? <laughs> How about puss? Give me a puss! <laughs> oh, so that's how puss got his name. Uh, Interesting. Who all had to? Uh, who all had to throw eggs out the window in science class in grade school? The golden goose. Just one. Just one of her golden eggs could set me for life. It's my destiny, puss. <sighs> <sighs> this is kind of a, a solo dream here. I don't need any dead weight, you know, hold me down. No. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the I thing that you're doing, that is really splendid. I am considering a partnership. Can you commit? See, I can commit. Oh, you can talk. Could you help me up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that's where he was going to go tumble. Yeah. Bingo. You do not talk <laughs> about bingo. <laughs> Brothers forever. Well, we got red beans, we got green beans, coffee beans, lima beans. Finding them meant everything to us. That's me and you, puss. But we never did find them. Oh. As teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Next time is jail time. They're just kids. They <laughs> are thieves. <laughs> You are better than this. Please do not let me down. I cannot wait for us to get out of here. <laughs> oh. oh boy. He saved the commandante's mother. <laughs> you saved my mother. He is a hero! <laughs> oh no. These are for you, my boy. Oh, no. Wear them as a symbol of honor. I will make you proud. No. You already have my puss in boots. My puss <laughs> in boots. Humpty's road grew ever darker. Be careful of the company you keep. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know, I never should have tried something without you. We are brothers, but I am not stealing anymore. But Humpty would not give up so easily. They're coming for me. Just get me over this wall. We gotta go. Help me up the wall. Get me up the wall. Oh, well, we've gone up the wall. <sighs> okay, I got everything. We did it. Come on, let's go. Oh, no. The money of the people. This is all they have. <laughs> Please, I can't explain. Arrest them. Oh, wow. I honestly didn't see this coming. No, this is definitely a twist I wasn't ready for. Yeah. Ended up ripping no. off their town. Oh, my town! Oh. oh, and then there it goes. Oh. The whole city's gold. I can't get up. Puss! Help me, guy! I can't get up! Save yourself. No. Oh. Oh. I lost everything I cared about that day. All I thought about was the disappointment in my mama's eyes. Damn. And I have been running ever since. Hey! I, I'm awake. You think I don't want to fix the past? I can't get down. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't go by when I don't think about what I lost. I lost my best friend, my only friend. All I'm asking for, Puss, is a second chance, and I'll help you pay back San Ricardo. Well, they're gonna try to find the beans to get the eggs. I will do this for my mother and for San Ricardo, not for you. And I, I, I promise this time, I will not let you down. Well, there's a chance that they could have a little bit of a redemption arc. Eh, maybe. A little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still not <laughs> trusting. I'm skeptical, Humpty though. Dumpty. Yeah. Is there going to be a roadrunner and a coyote here anytime soon? You just need to worry about your part. Don't screw it up. <laughs> Come on, puss. Now! <laughs> Our biological clocks are a ticking, darling. What kind of? <laughs> hey, hey. Start small. Just let's just pretend you have to do that. Oh, oh, baby warthogs. <laughs> I don't have time to be at home with no diapers and baby socks. Yeah, I... <sighs> I'll be the stay-at-home dad. Why are you not using your clocks? Would you please just shut up? I don't have any clocks, all right? Oh, Ooh. no. Shh. Sleepy, sleepy, big fun piggy. <laughs> <laughs> you babysit. Soft paws. Ah, that makes sense. Hello, beans of legend. Let's go. Oops. No, oh, no, I was right oh, there. His foot. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Sausage bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did she just say sausage bomb? Sausage yeah, she bomb. Signal of the egg. Yes. Ready? Set. Go. Ah. Oh. oh. The beans. Oh no. Oh, no. Well, they're in the dark. You'll be able to see them. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Is it true a cat always lands on its feet? That is just a rumor spread by dogs! <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you I wouldn't let you down. Oh, jeez, oh, where like was a, that? It's like a pirate ship. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. We just gotta make it to that bridge. Captain, there is no bridge. Trust me. Uh, <laughs> aim for the bushes. Oh, of course, no, he has land. His inventions. Oh, the horse Look flipped that. up in. I hate cats. This is war. Should have known because of the way he designed that one in the yeah, uh, flashback. Makes sense. Giant's castle. Here we come. I still don't trust the egg. No. I must hand it to the egg. This was a team effort. I am called Kitty Softpaws because I'll steal you blind and you'll never even know I was there. Oh. You're not as good as they say. You're better. Oh, look at him putting the Look at oh. Puss trying to lay down some, some lines. Okay, I'll tell you. I was just a stray, but I had beautiful claws. A really nice couple took me in. Maybe I scratched their curtains or played too rough with a hamster, but they took my claws. Cat people are crazy. 
<laughs> There's so much. That was a loaded line. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't seem like the best environment to grow anything, does it, though? Oh. Look at this bus. But they're magic. After all so. these years. Here. I want you to plant them. That is a strange cloud. <gasps> so is it supposed to look like a castle? Or no, it's going to rain. Hole. Right here. Oh, so what is going to happen here? Well, that's an interesting development of how they're doing it. <laughs> you know, I read somewhere that plants have feelings. Hi, little plant. <laughs> oh, God, it got me. <laughs> it's a jump scare on the answer. <laughs> God, oh, too. It got me a little uh, bit. Did it get you pretty good? Or oh, what? it got me pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I was just starting to <laughs> lean in. Oh. Look at that. Wow. Roll. Yeah, I got a uh, scared of heights. This would not be the place to be. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's got to get a little cold up there. Should go uh, to Giant's guys? Castle. I do not see him. Do you see him? I don't <laughs> see him anywhere. You sound weird. It's the thin air! Let me show you something. Oh, what was that um, look about? Like, don't get too friendly with them. We're going to sell them out. Somewhere down there, there are two little kids, I don't know, and they're laying on a hill staring at the clouds. Me and you. You might want to take a look at this. Look at that. The giant's castle. <laughs> Plus, remember when everyone was laughing at Bean Club? Oh, I'm always laughing now. Am I the only one worried about how they're going to get back down? Oh, but on the bean stuff. <laughs> I was actually kind of thinking that. I suppose climb down the bean. Oh, yeah, isn't that? That's part of the fairy tale, isn't yeah. it? Climbing down the bean stuck. Oh, wow. <laughs> True. You do get the golden eggs. I will fight the giant. The giant's been dead for years. What? Jack and the Beanstalk, Chapter 14, Giant Takes a Big Dirt Nap. What, what, what was that? They call it the Great Terror. It's the monster that guards the Golden Goose. Legend has it that so if you look at it, you'll turn to stone. Follow me and keep quiet. Keep quiet. Yeah, he's going to squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. I can't help it. Everything's rubbing and pinching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Oh, that's a oh. long way down. How are we going to get across? Champagne. Cheers. You know, I was going to say Velociraptor, but now it seems like T-Rex is coming. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> oh. It's like Stallone and Kurt Russell. Yeah. Tango and Cash style. Oh, 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 <laughs> no, it's that just the duckling. Be. Yeah, it's just the duckling. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, maybe it is. The mm. golden goose. Okay. <laughs> oh. Too slow, folks. I'm too slow. Uh, or maybe there's a <laughs> bigger goose that lays bigger gold eggs. This is the goose of legend. We don't know what happens in we take her. Because I don't think that's just a chick. I think that's the mom guarding it. It's a gold ah. pooper. We're taking it. <laughs> I think this might be Gal Gadot. I think it, it is could, because I think yeah. it's more of a Spain. Because she is supposed to be from Spain. It could well, be She's Gal. Israeli. <laughs> well, yeah, but he, she is more of a... We'll see. She's <laughs> Israeli. She's not from Spain. <laughs> oh. It's 
Oh, you figure the chicken wouldn't be afraid of, uh, or the, oh, the gosling wouldn't yeah. be afraid of it if the mom was the golden goose. <laughs> so you think it's going to be a dog? I think it's going to be a big dog. I think yeah. it's a giant. <laughs> Answer's going with the mom. I'm going with the mom. Mother goose. I'll, I'll side with Answer. Oh, no. Magic whirlpool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, fly, oh, little goblin, fly! Oh, <laughs> its don't eyes you. are all over the place. Don't, it'll shake it. Puss? No. <sighs> Look at that. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Brilliant. Use nice the work. leaf. Thanks, Ginger. Look at that. You finally got that family you wanted, Jack. You hear that? I think you just called me daddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it? Oh, here it comes. Oh! I do believe that's our cue. To pay you back San Ricardo! <laughs> Since laying eggs like crazy. Yeah. That is one word for you, Kitty Soft Paws. Me wow. <laughs> you don't know me, Puss. I'm not who you think I am. Look me in the eyes and tell me all you care about is the gold, Kitty. <laughs> 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 Fall for his animal magnetism. Yep, see? Stay focused. Oh no, they're using him. Well, she's fallen for him, so yeah. they're eventually gonna tell him. Has to be. Puss, you have to go now. You can trust me. Give it up for the legends of San Ricardo. We did it! <laughs> Kitty, stay up with us. Oh, no, no, I feel like. <laughs> we should now give her some privacy. Humpty's still mad at Puss for selling him out all those years. Well, for what happened all those years ago. Right. <clears throat> it is good to have my brother back. It sure is. Pretty exciting stuff. We should get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, I like the way they're doing this. This is cool. Why would they just take Puss and not the rest of them? Oh, I think they just oh, left, left them. them. In the sun, too. Oh, I'm alive! <laughs> <laughs> Jack and Jill, I will find you. Do you think Kitty and Jack teamed up with, uh, or Kitty and Humpty Get teamed up with Jack and Jill? <laughs> no, I think, I think everybody's got their own little agenda going on. San Ricardo. <laughs> Loves that cartwheel. Come on now, all we want is a little breakfast. Oh! Oh, it's oh, they were in on it. You were right, Oak. It's a surprise party and the surprise. You were in cahoots? Oh, yeah. They all work for me. Spent a lot of time in a prison. You think this was all about getting the gold and, and clearing your name? This little adventure was about one thing. Revenge. Revenge. But I was always fair, fair. What? Oh. Ah! <laughs> Oh. Bird seed. Why would you do this? You left me on that bridge. I thrusted you. Well, now you're finally going to know what it feels like. Guards! Puss and books. You should never have come back. Pequeño, wait. Do not fight them, please. Oh. Please stop breaking my heart and face what you have done. Uh, Humpty? Sorry, Mama. Anyone? Well, he, he, he served he, his time. He did his time already, yeah. Uh. What would it mean? Like it was all, it was all Humpty, not. Puss. Turn around, uh, slow. Step into the carrier. Quiet, oh, Mike. Oh no. I present to you, 
The Golden Ghosts of Legend! Katie? Not you, too. <laughs> Gold for everyone! Step right up! Get it high! Oh, that's a unique concerned look from Mama. One hat, one belt, and two boots. Well, now there's only one thing for Kitty to do. Yep. One bottle of catnip. Uh... It is for my glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you belong. <laughs> <laughs> the old leg, the leg up. No, no, don't stop on my account. And it looks like the egg got what he wanted. You're talking about hunting. <laughs> don't say his name. <laughs> his hands are yeah, outside the chains. Happiest day of my life was when he left. Wait, wait, wait. You had the beans? Who are you? Andy Beanstalk. My friends call me Jack. <laughs> what else do you know? We're all goners. I told them, I told them not to take the goose. To take the goose? Why? <laughs> oh, hey, it's, it's the great terror. That's the golden goose's mom. Acknowledge me. <laughs> Answer called it. You must listen to me! Why, you? Well, that's that. Maybe I was mistaken. I thought the I thought a giant came down the beanstalk to come after him. Well, they, well, they did, said but that they said the giant, giant was, was gone. Was gone. Years. Okay, but I thought maybe. And when they showed the big uh, footprint, it was a big like. I missed that. I missed yeah, that part. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the eyes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's purring. purring. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the weapon. Step aside. Take your I can't believe they did the spray <laughs> bottle. <clears throat> I hope you can forgive me. Apology accepted! She's got boots on now, too. I have to save the town from the great terror. I am here because you made me realize that there is something I care about more than gold. Okay. Someone. Someone. Handsome. He's very handsome. Take. <laughs> I saved you. Oh, you owed me one. You didn't tell me about Hampton. <laughs> now you owe me two. You are not getting away, pussy boots. Get it. Now we're even. Oh no. Uh, she she has to know. Yeah, she'll, she'll be probably back. be okay. Yeah. She'll be back. Chances of a giant goose destroying the town? 100%. Oh, he knows. He knows. He still wants revenge on the town. Humpty and Puss, brothers forever. I should make you into an egg salad sandwich. See, the mama's on her way, and when she gets here, it's bye-bye San Ricardo and everything. Why, Imelda? Why the orphanage? I, I never belonged here. Do not take it out on these people. You are better than this. I was going to say, you still trying to sell him on that? Yeah. The inventor. The dreamer. What happened to that guy? What is this thing going to look like? Oh, look at it. I think it's too late. Never too late to do the right thing. I can forgive you, Humpty. If you help me now, prove to me that he's still a good egg in you. <laughs> Give me a Once again. Not into the tree again, is he? Ha ha! Thing looks like a titan. It looks exactly like a titan. <laughs> Just follow me and I will lead you to your baby. Not that way! Oh! Oh! Wow! <laughs> oh, look at the feathers. It's pretty cool having that gold <laughs> around them. Yeah. Sorry, egghead. We want more than just eggs. Huh? Oh. Nice moves. What <clears throat> would you do without me? Bruno Sam! Ah! No, 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 no! 
I will not leave you behind this time, Humpty. You have to save the baby or the mama will destroy San Ricardo. It's the right thing to do. He's gonna let go. And that's his redemption arc. I know you won't, so I won't make you choose. Whoa! Oh, damn. I'm very sorry. She's okay. Humpty. Humpty was egg a golden egg. crushed by that, a golden egg? That can't. Oh. I always knew that you were good. He was. Oh, he golden. was a golden egg. Okay, I was going to say. Goodbye, Humpty. It's him. Puss in Boots. He saved us from the giant goose. He's like lightning. <laughs> they say he has ten lives. <laughs> Instead of nine. He only drinks whole milk. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Every time. He saved us. Uh, you know, a gift for you, Mama. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's, still He's, still He's still alive. I am so proud of you, my son. You earned those boots. And the people know that you are San Ricardo's greatest hero. I did it for you, Mama. God, oh! <laughs> so I can't remember. Did this come out before Shrek 4? If I'm remembering my timeline right? I don't remember. No, or I thought after. Shrek was 10. 2010. Yeah. Shrek 4? I think. I will see you again! Sooner than you think. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> She is a bad kitty. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story of a cat who became a hero. I am Puss in Boots. <laughs> He's riding on the top of the horse. <laughs> Aha. Ah. Oh, this was oh. fun. This. Wow. Oh. Now, oh. Were you not entertained? <laughs> How could you not be? Now, I was wondering because they had both. Antonio Banderas and Salma Hayek, if they would have any callbacks to Desperado. And uh, I'm not sure if it made the cut, but I thought maybe when Puss was swinging on the ropes, to me that was kind of a little bit of callback to uh, Antonio and Salma Hayek on the chains on the building. But that was uh, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, I think. Was it not, Oak? I think so, I yeah. think it was. Desperado, I've seen a million times. Yeah. Once Upon a Time in Mexico, I didn't watch this. That's what we should... Well, anyways, another story for another Ooh, time. Dang. This was so much fun. The animation was just next level. You can completely see the advancements and technology we had. What an all-star cast, though. Antonio Banderas, Selma Hayek, Zach Galifianakis, Billy Bob Thornton, everybody on here was pretty much at their peak oh, i think when they when they were doing this so just massive fun all the way around I, it had a very different feel than shrek i mean i know it's in the same universe but this one just felt so different they still had some of the the fairy tale characters that we all know which was fun we had jack from jack and the beanstalk we did not have the giant i thought that the giant was going to make an appearance or maybe a dog. I thought maybe there was a dog in there at some point. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a real long time dog. since I can remember, but a lot of fun. Uh, we did lose uh, Humpty Dumpty at the end, though, and he showed he was uh, a good egg inside. He was golden. The giant goose took him. It was kind of funny having the big baddie, aside from Jack and Jill, who you know, they were done really well. But the big bat, he was just a giant goose kind of cluelessly running through town. Uh, that was that was a lot of fun. I was looking for her young. And I was expecting a little more hissing and a little more wing flapping. If anybody's been yeah. to the park on a it's on a, a bad tub. day when the when the geese are really getting more angry at you. But the, this was so much fun. I, everything we love about the Shrek style of movies and this style of movies, it lived up to. And Antonio, he absolutely just crushed this from, you know, you know to be, 
when all he can do is provide his voice, it really makes you appreciate just how good of an actor he is. And this was this was just next level fun. This was great. Yeah, what I loved about this is like they found the one main center storyline, which was the beanstalk, right? And then that's what they send around it with. Of all people, hum Humpty Dumpty wanting to get up there for the golden eggs. And like we sh it showed that he was an inventor, a creator, that they got in mischief together, and then it took that Puss in Boots did one r good deed, and he was a hero in the town. Mm -hmm. And so then we got to see that it was his whole arc of being the hero in town to being most wanted because of Humpty Alexander Dumpty wanting to r rob a bank. I mean, you, you could kind of see the parallels there, like, because Antonio was rising up in the community, and he, like even Humpty said at the end, it felt like he was being left behind, so to speak. Whereas, you know, he could have still been his partner and they could have been doing good for the community and stuff like that. But they always picked on, on Humpty no matter what. We saw even uh, Little Bull Peep throwing yeah. her shoe at him. <laughs> little, Say, <laughs> and then Little Boy Blue. And then Little Boy Blue was picking on him. So And we saw the lamb. And so it was nice seeing that it was, there was fairy tales involved, but not overwhelmingly such you know yeah not as heavy as Shrek and then I loved how Kitty Softpaws to me was kind of like a mix of like Catwoman and like Batwoman yeah. and stuff like that all rolled into one and just how like anywhere that Antonio thought he was getting ahead on her she was getting twice as far yeah, ahead yeah, on him they hand. tricked us all in the beginning I think we all thought like well is that some kind of version of like a, a Batman or, or yeah. like a luchador yeah, or something, something, like, yeah. something like that and then they had the the, the lovely dance with all the cats playing, <laughs> playing in the <laughs> I love that it ended with a guitar to the face <laughs> not even a fair fight uh, Jeff and, Jarrett be proud. but it was just so much fun to watch this movie and you know like Oak said he was worried about expectations I wasn't I knew it was going to be fun but this was even more fun than I could imagine, and I cannot wait for the next ones. But yeah, I really like this movie. Yeah, this was this was a lot of fun. Um, you know, obviously he, the bar was set incredibly high with the Shrek movies. Um, you know, the, the first two Shreks were great for me. The third one, I think, cooled down a little bit. Still give it a really high score because it was an amazing movie. And then Shrek finished off so strong. So yeah. the bar was set really high. You know, Mason Quinn and he's an answer mentioned it. It did feel a little bit different than the other one. It was a little bit more of an action adventure tale, a little bit less like super, um, you know, kind of life lesson moral laden. I mean, obviously it had those in there, but I think it was a little bit more yeah. just about, you know, right, let's tell the story of, uh, you know, Puss in Boots, you know, when he's when he's obviously not in far, far away. Um, so, you know, I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, great characters. I And I'm, I promise I'm not just saying, I'm like, oh, I think that's Billy Bob Thornton. But, you know, I'm so used to hearing his voice like a little bit more um, more serious, you know? Or a little slower. Tone. So, you know, he's, he's either yelling at people in Bad Santa <laughs> or, you know, uh, Armageddon, you know, I love Billy Bob Thornton. But, um, you know, um, Antonio Banderas, amazing job Selma Hayek amazing job Zach Galifianakis I mean he's you know uh you know he's just a treasure right so um a fun a fun story um you know uh, you know it was interesting you know I, I I you're really hesitant whether their you know their reunion is going to be a good one and then it went bad and then came back to good so I, I you know it's not coming to the top of my head but i think you know we've seen other movies with similar ish yeah, i thought you, you know, were my friend storylines yeah. it's, like, it's like hobbs and shaw or something <laughs> you know yeah. enemies and we're back together um but in any regard now this was this was a lot of fun i love the way it ended um i love the addition of another you know cat that was you know in, in a, a similar you know type character to to Puss in Boots. I did think it was interesting with the mask in the beginning because the first thing I thought was like, so like obviously Batman, Catwoman, you know, mm -hmm. um, but uh, th that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, as Mason Quinn had said, anybody who's seen the movie Desperado knows that their <laughs> chemistry was just incredible in that movie and to see them both on screen and in sort sorts of. <laughs> back together again in, in an action capacity that felt a little bit desperado-ish. I mean, obviously very, very different movies, but this was a really good one for me. Yeah, I thought this was uh, entertaining. It did its job. I, now, when I do my score, I'm comparing it to Shrek because 
obviously Puss in Boots yeah, is in universe. the Shrek universe, right? So I thought this was uh, fun. Yeah, with Selma, uh, it was hard because it, there was moments where it sounded like Selma. Then there was moments where it sounded like Gal Gadot. So it was just like, ah, which one is it? Lo and behold, we saw it was Selma. Great job by her. And uh, I, gosh, I think Antonio Banderas was perfect casting for yeah. Puss in Boots dating back to Shrek there. So it's kind of cool to see that Puss in Boots got its own spinoff. So kudos for that. Uh, Amy uh, Sedaris, yeah, I can't re- I remember seeing her in some stuff. She's pretty good at that, too. The uh, the accent that she had in here was pretty funny. Uh, Billy Bob Thornton, I had no idea yeah, that was, was him. There wasn't even a guess in my head about it being Billy Bob, so that was cool. Zach, I thought, did... You know, I'm surprised. they. I feel like they kept Zach in, like, stay in this lane kind of thing. Yeah. Because I feel like with some of the roles that we've seen him in, I feel like uh, he well, probably could have improved, but obviously yeah. with this kind of movie, you can't improv. Yeah, he does but. a lot of physical comedy too. Yeah, I, I think so. With him, you kind of expect that. That's why the mm-hmm. voice threw me off. You also have to remember this is 2011. He first yeah. blew well, up exactly. a year earlier for Hangover. Yeah, so. exactly. I mean, he had so. been around for a while and but had some, a few movie big, roles, but Hangover break. was his big. Yeah, he went, yeah, he went pretty sideways out. in Hangover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Otherwise. Uh, you, because I was kind of looking in here, too, to see if when Shrek ended, which was 2010. Mm-hmm. So this came out 2011. So shout out to all the uh, cast and crew, or ma- mainly the crew. We shouted out the cast there. Uh, mainly the, the, the crew here, because I thought the animation was great. I thought they told a great story with it. Uh, so now I'm really amped up to see what Puss in Boots, the second film, is going to be like. Because it's in 2022 long wait for everyone and we had a lot of comments Mm -hmm. saying you gotta watch puss in boots too so i'm glad we went on this journey here a little bit uh to see yeah and to to your guys's point the it kind of it was either in my head zorro or uh bat (laughs) cat Mm -hmm. so yeah and it was kind of unique so someone helped me out in what that was actually really supposed to be because i'm not going to look it up here i'd rather kind of read everyone's yeah, yeah. Some kind of interpretation reference. in the uh comments so which you guys probably know the exact answer of what that was supposed to be so either way i i enjoyed this one this was a pretty good a fun one to experience but also let us think what you thought right away your first thought i mean yeah you might know the answer be honest, can look, but be, be honest, honest. let us know what your first inkling was what did it you know trip your trigger to think who it was mm-hmm. you know yeah yeah so i loved all the little nuances of it i loved how puss would cut through the glass with his claws he could do the locks Around. just all the little things they threw in there and it wasn't it wasn't like a traditional story like you'd expect i think what the lazy way to do this movie would have been they go up to the beanstalk, they, get, they go to the castle, they have to fight the giant, maybe they get caught, then they need to escape, maybe Humpty Dumpty needs to explain himself, whatever. I thought that would have kind of been the easy, lazy way to tell the story. I, I like the twist on it. Like I said, the, the big baddie being the mama goose, which, you know, makes sense, mother goose nursery rhymes, right? Mm-hmm. But it was, it was different, it was unique, and it uh, just put a different spin on it, and it made the friction more between puss and humpty dumpty in kind of a, a redemption arc so to speak i mean look the town's loaded now they got golden eggs all over the place they so. got no bridge to get out though well they can build a new one and <laughs> put some folks to work i suppose but either way just a very unique story with a lot of little things that i think on a second watch i think i would catch so for me this is a 4.8 out of 5 answers, a ton of fun, and certainly lives up to all the billing that you expect from the Shrek universe. I'm sure a lot of similar people involved making this one. Yeah, like it's it's not like Sh- Shrek, which was more, it seemed like more story driven. It had some action, but it seemed more story. This had a, still had a great story, but there was a lot more action because that's what we expect out of Puss in Boots, with the exception of fourth one where he's a little heavyweight, you know. But other than that, it's like four. Yeah, exactly. But it, it was so much fun to, to see this cast, and it was just made me laugh so hard. I gotta give it a four seven five, and yes, it, exactly, definitely deserves a rewatch because I'm sure there's more things we could find that we didn't find the first time. And not much music in this one, which was kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. there wasn't. Yeah, yeah you know, for, for me, as I said before. I know this is its own movie, but as Diamond Dave kind of said, it's in the it's in the Shrek universe. And you know, for me, anybody who's watched this channel before knows that I love really kind of pulling the lessons from my movies and stuff. It didn't hit quite as hard emotionally for me as the um, 
um, as the original Shreks. You know, I did like the lesson at the end, you know, um, you know, where um, Post was kept saying to Humpty, like, this is your home, this is your home. And he brought up a really good point. And he's like, but this never felt like home to me because the people like weren't good. And, and I grew up in a very small town with a, a very tight knit community and, and, um, you know, everybody who grows up in a small town complains once in a while about the small town. But I mean, looking back, like I grew up in a really legit community with amazing people. So I look back with fondness. But look, if, if you had it rough growing up, I mean, sometimes that small town feel, it, it, it doesn't feel like home and it doesn't bring back good memories. And I think sometimes that, uh, you know, people with people with good hearts, um, you know, sometimes if, you know, if, if they're in the wrong surrounding and, and they don't get kind of the support and the acceptance that they that they need and, and deserve, it can turn even people with the most golden hearts into the bad people. But I think the real kind of um, lesson here is that it's never too late to, to change who you are and it's never too late to be good. It's never too late to be the person that you could have been. So I think that was kind of the lesson that we took away. Again, not quite the emotional gut punch that we saw sometimes in Shrek. Um, uh, for the original Shrek, I think my favorite part of all the comments was me singing along with Hallelujah. Um, we had some Smash Mouth. That was missing in this movie. Mm -hmm. So I, I felt like it really added to the first handful of Shrek movies with the music. Um, it was missing here, but it was still a really fun movie for me. So my score is pretty much in line with uh, Answer, actually same as Answers, in line with Quinn's. A 4.75 for me, a really fun watch. And I guess I'm super curious now. I didn't know that there was a 10-year gap between yeah. Puss in Boots 2. So I am super excited for that one, knowing that not only do we get more modern animation, but the people who wrote it had a lot of time to think, hey, if we're going to bring this back, we have to do it in a big oh, way. Man. And who's coming back? Yeah. So, again, <laughs> right. uh, my scores for Shrek 1 and 2 were fours. So, this one, I will just gently, put, at a, I gently put a 3.9. Wow, really? To me, it does not actually add. It doesn't match Shrek 1 and 2, at least in my opinion. Yeah. Um, but still, 3.9. That's yeah. pretty darn close to saying it's as good as Shrek. So, can't go wrong with Antonio Banderas being Puss in Boots. Yeah, it just had a real different uh, different feel to it. And, and I think they needed to do that to kind of keep you know, away from yeah, Shrek. Especially when the, the Forest Shrek came out literally a year prior. Right. So well, yeah. you, you know, and I think one of the things is, is, like, it gave it its own identity, too. Yeah. Like, I think that was one thing, like... If you tried to just make it another Shrek movie, okay, then you're talking about right. what, five of them, you yeah. know? Like, oh, we'll if just we have another musical If we number try and, making it another Shrek, you know, because I was wondering if we were going to get any cameos from the Gingerbread Man or even donkey, just, just a anybody? donkey cameo or nothing, oh, and they didn't do it, home. which on one hand, you're like, oh, I love those characters, but they wanted this to be its own movie, so I definitely understand, and they brought us some, some other characters that money, were pretty man. lovable, so... But by the way, small town you grew up in, how, what was the population? A uh, little shoot had 9,000. Okay, oh, real small. Small. okay, 2,800. How many in years? Uh, uh, a big 1,400 folks. And Quinn? Uh, a little bit bigger than Little Shoe. We're Division okay. 1. So. Okay. My graduating, I was going to say, I was gonna say <laughs> small town. It's like, uh, well, then Dave yeah. and I, I we mean, know it's all My graduating class was 48 people. <laughs> folks, I, so. will, I will say this. In the entire state of Wisconsin, the entire state of Wisconsin, as far as area square miles little shoot is the smallest school district in the entire state of wisconsin little shoot has a highway on one side and a mile and a half we have the fox river we have kakana on one side we have 441 on the other side it's about a mile that way by about three miles that way that is little shoot yeah it's still way more people than but we're, we're big, big Halo, we're, we're a big city compared to uh you know, right. well, this wherever is he's from. we can't wait to catch you on the next puss and boots so for diamond dave Eptonope, that's mason quinn i'm of course the answer we'll catch you on the next one pals